You got an analog? Yeah, analog. All right. So remove an anode rod. First thing you got to do is you got to remove all the insulation. The main reason people were, the anode rod is what extends the life of a water heater. Okay. A lot of people only replace the anode rod when you get the rotten egg smell that you have well water. If you have well water, you're going to get a rotten egg smell. It's a bacteria that is created by the anode rod, the magnesium anode rod, which the heaters come with. Not a harmful bacteria, but it is a smelly one. It smells like rotten eggs. The only way to eliminate that for good and it never come back is you have to put a chlorinating system before the water heater. And you also have to change this to an aluminum anode rod. So you can see changing an anode rod is not an easy task. even harder when the heater's not installed because we have nothing yeah, to hold it against. It doesn't have any water in it, so it's too light. And that's what an anode rod looks like. Look like. If you ever want to make your heater last a long time, you change your anode rod every five years and it'll really extend the life of a water heater. Most people don't do it, it's not worth it with all the new technology coming out with water heaters nowadays. Heaters every two years, it's almost like a TV, are gonna be almost be almost be obsolete with how much changes they're making. They're not gonna be obsolete, but they're but they almost will be. 